Hello, in this video I will explain how to work with vision sensors in Copelia Sim VREP for line tracking applications. More specifically, the aim is to understand how does Copelia Sim programming API work to get data from vision sensors. The goal is to implement a basic line tracking algorithm, so to do this we need to create a path with the layout of the circuit or uh, the path we want to follow and also uh, I will uh, I suggest to add an, a graph to see uh, the robot's trace so, so you can uh, see the difference between the actual path uh, of the robot and uh, the circuit you created. In this video we will simulate uh, an infrared sensor TCRT5000 to detect the color of a floor. In Copelia Sim, this can be implemented with an orthographic vision sensor pointing towards the floor. This is something I showed you uh, uh, how to do it in a previous video. Here I just simply show you the main properties of the sensor that I used for my simulation. Uh, as you can see, um, we have a single indeed we have a single uh, pixel camera, okay? Without depth, I'm ignoring the depth, so uh, don't forget to to uh, include that option too. Uh, that allows me to detect a line on the floor uh, less than 10 centimeters because of the far clipping plane uh, property you see there. Okay? And the width or the size of the, the sensor is uh, 5 millimeters. As I said, you must create a path, so please watch the corresponding video on how to create uh, paths and uh, how to configure them if you don't know how to. Okay? In this case I have created a closed and flat path with x axis pointing up. Uh, the path is made uh, with horizontal segments as you can see there with a scaling factor of 5 and the color of the path is black in this case. Adjust the color to a black uh, color. Okay? So uh, on the other hand I have added a graph that will allow us to visualize the robot trace. If you have any questions about uh, the creation of graphics, then I also recommend you to watch the corresponding video in which I explain how to do, uh, work with uh, graphs. So, in order to be able to access or to access to the information uh, uh, provided by the vision sensor, we must first obtain the object handle, as you can see there. Okay. Then, in uh, within the Sys call sensing function, we must call the scene.getVisionSensorImage function. This function will return the image uh, of, of uh, the vision sensor, but uh, in this case, because we are simulating an infrared sensor, we need to provide a flag to obtain the image in a grayscale format, okay, as you can see there. So the, the function returns a list with all the information uh, of the image, in this case, because it's a single pil a pixel and it's a grayscale image, the information of interest will be obtained directly on the first element of the list, the first pixel, but for higher resolution color cameras, you will actually get a list with RGB, which red, green, blue channels of each of the pixels, all sorted in a single list. So, this is something we will see in a different video, okay? So if you show the value, if you print the value uh, you obtain with the vision sensor uh, on the console, okay, using just the print instruction, you will see indeed that the sensor, uh, whenever it's pointing to the black line, it will return a value approximately of 0.1, while if we move the robot to uh, an area which is white, then we will, uh, the expected return value will be approximately 0.9. So therefore, uh, when the robot is or when the sensor is just right at, on the the edge of the line, the information that we expect to get will be 0.5 because it's just right in the middle of black and white. So part of the image will be black, part of the image will be uh, white. So that's why we will uh, get a 0.5 value whenever we are on the edge of the, the line, okay? And we will use this value as a reference to track uh, the line indeed, okay? So the goal is that the robot is always on the edge of the line and any deviation must be corrected. And therefore a simple, uh, simple way to implement a line tracking algorithm is to compute indeed the difference between the current 
measure color, which is represented by the variable line color here, and the reference value, uh, which is the variable gray, and that's the variable that should take uh, the value 0.5 as said before. So if, for example, if the robot is in the white area of the line, the difference between these two variables will be positive, and multiply with the given gain, in this case is the uh, variable key line, uh, will uh, provide a negative uh, angular velocity for a robot, and that's indeed uh, in, in, implies somehow a, a clockwise turn uh, of, of the robot, so it will uh, move towards the line. Okay. On the opposite, uh, if we if we are on the black zone, just right in the middle, uh, the angular velocity uh, will be uh, uh, positive, so it will try to move uh, towards the edge. Okay. And indeed, if we are just right on the edge, so the difference is zero, the angular velocity will be also zero, so the robot will move straight. The linear speed uh, will, uh, will be set based on the distance we, uh, we get from an object, but for now you can uh, make it simple and just put a fixed value there, let's say something between 0 0.1 and 0 0.5, and then you will see how uh, the robot uh, try to adjust the gain uh, correction to the line to see that the robot is behaving properly to tra and tracking the line. And uh, the idea is that we can combine uh, what we uh, already see about uh, reading distances from uh, an, ultra an ultrasonic sensor, and the idea is that to use that distance to regulate the speed. Okay, so as, us as usual, we can get the handle uh, at the in, or during the initialization of the, of the simulation, and then in the call uh, um, sensing function we can uh, obtain the actual uh, distance of the value using uh, the get distance function as shown. Okay? This is something we already saw in a previous video. And also uh, we can adjust the linear speed based on the, the distance or the sonar sensor distance. Uh, this is something we already saw again, and uh, in this case, uh, it is uh, what I recommend is to implement the get velocity function, as you can see here, uh, in order to obtain uh, the linear velocity of the robot. Okay. So in this video, I have explained how to use the vision sensor in Coppelia Sim uh, for simulating an infrared sensor. We will see later on uh, how to access to a full image or color image uh, using a camera and how to process it in a different video, okay? And also in, uh, in particular in this video what we ha I have explained is a basic algorithm how to follow uh, lines using uh, a single infrared sensor and how to regulate the speed so we can uh, stop if there's an object uh, just right in front of the robot, okay? I recommend you to watch the next video to see uh, what's the spectral result bef even before you start programming your own code, okay? So you have or you get a clear idea on how it works. Okay, thank you very much.